Monday. Wait, no. Sorry, Peyton Chat. It's not called Peyton Chat, even though I haven't even once painted on this damn particular format. Whatever. It's where I make shit and I talk about things and give you a short little update. It's even shorter now that I kind of have to render really quickly in order to stream on Monday. So, it being Monday, of course, let's find my work chair. I will be streaming, and I will be streaming with bright brand new Blue Yeti from, uh, I got that for Christmas, so hopefully my audio is going to be much nicer. Uh, this audio is going to be off the same camera it's always been. Um, I may work out something uh, with, say, my webcam and um, the Blue Yeti uh, for next week, who knows, but... Uh, yay! I'm get uh, Christmas. I got equipment for making things better and higher quality and nicer. So while the holidays were going on, I wasn't streaming because I had to do things and family obligations. But I did some leather work. Yeah, look at this. This looks so much aw more awesome. Um, it's really huge for me. Ask one of these takes like basically it takes several hours to do one of these just because it's so labor intensive. Um, Oh well. And what's going on here? I'll leave it alone. I'll leave it alone. Okay. Um, I have two more to do, which I'm just gonna do the marking for um, on camera here. I just need to figure out which ones are short ones by um, measuring the shortness of them. Uh, so last week, if you missed out, we did a lot of leather work. We made <coughs> we made these. These are the front and back sections, um, and where we worked on the the belt buckle too. So the belt's largely done. We might be able to get this whole belt together this week. I'm hoping so. Get it properly dyed up and finished, and burr all nice. Um, but. Like, I might do a little bit of these chaps on camera, but it's really just, at least on camera for the stream, but it's really kind of um, very, very tedious work and not particularly interesting to watch as far as I can tell. Um, but we're going to space out, I'm spacing out the, the, I'm spacing out where I'm going to punch the holes. It has to be every quarter inch. And I'm doing it with the marker because the, little, the marking thing I have, uh, it doesn't hold the marker very long. This is going to be all on the inside. It won't be seen. And it's a... Yeah, voila. Yeah. I'm just using marker and I'm pl placing all the holes quarter inch apart. But hopefully this week we can get all of the leather work done. We can build our shoes. I have an old pair of shoes I am um, not using anymore, so we're going to be using those for cosplay purposes. And it's a bit cold. I haven't turned on, because right now I'm recording at like 7 o'clock in the morning. I haven't turned on the heater. It's a bit cold. <laughs> we're supposed to have like a, a snow or an ice storm today. I hope, I, I hope that I'm okay for the stream. don't want to freeze my butt off. This, this glass is... <laughs> it's quite cold. <laughs> oh. oh well. So this is what I was doing while I wasn't streaming at, uh, on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Uh, and uh, yeah, what was it? Maybe it was even. So here are in case you wanted to see me doing this. Um, the basic idea is to put these holes in it, punch them out, and then lace them all up. Which seems like easy work until you have to spend the time on punching and cleaning all the holes. It can take like two hours just to lace up one of the, the, the curved side. Oh well. So, there we are, there's one. And let me see how much time we have on the camera. Maybe I'll do the second one too. So I've got a whole puncher. I'll go. Um, maybe I'll try this out. See how quick that is. How clean the hole is for that. Um, one of the issues you, I run into with these hole punchers is that 
it punches most of the hole, but it, it just barely holds on the piece of material that uh, you punched out, so you didn't end up having, having to cut it out and remove it, and this is rather thick leather. So, oh well. There we go. Um, I'm working on a stream. I'm trying to get the notifications to so I know if people's following me and get alerts. Uh, maybe get Debot. I think it's like ten dollars for Debot. I might do that next week if I got the money for it. And I actually have gotten back to my old list thing of things I want to do. Like for instance, I want to mount up the. Uh, there's the shelving for all the fabric. I want to mount that to a wall so it doesn't fall over at some point. And eventually I want to be able to stream in the sewing room. The problem is it's a huge pile of cats. My, my wife cat piles. Uh, so I'm going to try and encourage her to uh, clean up the sewing room. Or at least help me clean up the sewing room. So that we can stream in there. The advantage of streaming in the sewing room is that it's warm. It's an insulated room. Rather than the shop which is basically a the uh, one of the garage ports where I've uh, tried to insulate it as best to my abilities as possible. <clears throat> oh well, that's it. I'm gonna go and possibly punch these out um, off camera. I might do a little bit of this on stream, but not much because doing it for a certain period of time is probably not great for watching. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next week. Stick around for streams, or pop in for streams to see what I'm doing. We will start doing project picks of the week as soon as I can get Deepbot to work because then uh, we can do voting and people who participate and are active in the stream can actually get me to make something, basically. So you show up to the stream, you get to choose what we make. Yeah! Awesome! I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Good times to all. Hey. Looks like you made it all the way to the end. If you're interested in more new tutorials, con coverage, and other cosplay shenanigans every week, hit that sub button to get it delivered hot and fresh to you.